Taxi. We work for you. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You first have to believe God exists before you can take a stroll in the garden of his wisdom. You cannot fear God if you do not know him. Wisdom is progressive and will get better with time as you continue to seek God in his word. And before you can apply and spread God's common sense, the understanding of the Holy One among your own kind, embracing knowledge is a prerequisite. In our earnest search for God as pilgrims of the truth, our hearts connect with the Holy One and we inadvertently discover the truth about our being. Instability and inherent dependence upon the so-called the wise and wise always has some proclivity of ending in guaranteed disasters of biblical proportions. We work for you, is a common phrase synonymous to dodgy political and religious characters, where more often than not, fools go rushing in blindly. Wow, it will take another lifetime to go through the unfulfilled dreams and the panacea promised by corrupt politicians when they beg the poor to surrender their votes, sleazy werewolves. You see, in a democracy, your vote is your only veto power you can wave against any slimy politician trying to steal your freedom by overpromising in order to embellish themselves. Alas, for the lack of wisdom and knowledge, most simple voters continue to vote for the same rules to look after their sheep and national treasure vault. But hey, I am talking about the worst kind of fools here, the sheepish church members. Jesus used the sheep pronoun allegorically and not as in fully identifying with the sheep's foolishness. The only identical traits between Jesus' sheep and the common sheep is nothing more than our nature of obedience and humility. Behold, I send you forth the sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Go into the world cloaked as harmless doves and fearlessly take on the hungry wolves using the wisdom of a serpent to convert the same wolves into sheep. Going into the world as sheep reminds me, it's not by might nor by power but by the Spirit of the Lord. Ever thought of sheep winning a decisive and epic war against the carnivorous and blood spilling wolves? God never makes sense at all. Since the beginning of time, men have fruitlessly tried to interpret this is the reason why God since eternity past has been calling and inviting men to sit down at his feet in order to hear the real stories of our lives. And other sheep, I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. This sheepish attitude is a required virtue and nature of a yielding man doing his best to know his God through his word. Knowing God through his word is knowing and surrendering to him through his terms only. God who at sundry times and in divers manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. As in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Hello sheepishly ignorant church members. Jesus Christ is the only divine Son of God, who must be welcomed and rolled in on the white carpet of your purified heart and soul. Not some hawkish false prophets. We work for you church. God has mandated us to be the keepers of your souls. If you leave this church you will die out there in the world, they scream at you. After wasting more than a third of my life as a so-called church member, I have since discovered that Jesus has always been waiting for me to get inside his fold. We work for you. Sorry preacher, it's impossible and too expensive to keep on bleating behind church leaders who only feed and help themselves instead of feeding the sheep. We work for you church. God speaks directly to us, we're his chosen vessels. The least you can do is to pay your tithes and offerings without fail. This 
This is God's will for you. Ours is to be always to God for your own good. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time. We work for you. Only fools still fall prey to this old age lie of the centuries, where millions of souls are trapped in spiritual slavery. Please cease and desist from trying Mr. Deacon. I am way too deep into the doctrine of Christ. Ain't working for this rebellious soul. I am beyond salvation when it comes to some wacky church membership around street corners. We work for you. Please, don't hang up on me, Sydney, please. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Loud and clear, great Apostle Paul.